Yo, yo, yo. Hello and happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your weekend because today is July 13th, 2024. My name is Mr. Johnny and welcome to the Biblically Centered Kids Podcast. I bet at this point you guys already have committed the virtue to memory, right? All right. If you have, go ahead and say it out loud. Virtue B says... Did you remember it? All right, let's say it together. Birch U B says, We believe the Holy Spirit guides us and gives us discernment. Great job. And I'm sure you already had that one memorized, right? Especially if you've been listening to all the episodes this week. All right, well, like I said before, and like we all know, today is Saturday. And I'm sure for a lot of you, Saturday is one of your favorite days of the week, especially during the school year. I like to relax and usually do a few small projects around the house on Saturdays. What are some things that you like to do on Saturdays? Well, we have a little bit of an interesting holiday today. Today is actually National Beanie Weenie Day. That's right, Beanie Weenie Day. Or, for a little more sophistication, Beans and Franks Day. Have you ever had this culinary masterpiece before? Alright, well, masterpiece might be a slight overstatement. In its simplest form, it's a bowl of baked beans with chopped up hot dogs in it. And I know, if you haven't had it before, it might sound a little wonky. But it's a food that I grew up eating, and now that I think about it, I haven't had it in a very long time. And my kids have never had it. All right, well, that's going to change today. And for my kids who I know are listening today, get ready for some beanie weenies for lunch today. All right, in the spirit of Saturday, you kiddos want to play a game? Yeah! All right, well, today we're going to play wise or not wise. I will read a scenario, and then you have to decide if the actions taken in the scenario were wise or not wise. And now, honestly, most of these, I bet, are going to be pretty easy for you. But I want you to also put yourself in the scenario and think through if you would actually be able to make the right decision in the moment. And remember, just like we've been talking about all week, the Holy Spirit is with us to help us make the right decision, even when it's hard. All right, first one. When Lily was at a friend's house, the friend started playing a video game that Lily's mom would not have approved of. Since she knew it was wrong, she left the room right away and did not participate in the video game. Was this wise or not wise? It was wise. That's right. Lily wanted to honor her parents, and since she knew her parents wouldn't approve of this game, she left the room. Number two. Jack wasn't prepared for the test at school this day, so he asked a friend if he could copy off of her test. Was this wise or not wise? Of course, that wasn't wise. Is it ever wise or good to cheat off of someone else's test? No, of course not. Number three. Tracy has a lot of friends, but some of them don't always do the right thing. So she decided to hang out more with her friends that helped her follow God. Is that a wise decision or not wise decision? It was wise because it's so important to know the people we hang out with and to hang out with people who help us in our relationship with God. Number four, Mason knew he was wrong when he took his friend's toy, so he gave it back and asked for forgiveness. Was that wise or not wise? Of course it was wise. And an important thing about this scenario, because from time to time we're gonna make mistakes. But the important thing is that he realized his mistake and he asked for forgiveness. Number five, Trisha was angry that Ashley was bragging about beating her at soccer again. Trisha talked to Ashley and told her that it hurt her feelings. And Ashley didn't realize this and said she was sorry. Was this wise or not wise? It was wise. And the reason this is wise is because Trisha was angry 
because of what Ashley was doing. And instead of going and talking about it to other people or gossiping, she went straight to Ashley and told her that it actually was hurting her feelings. And then Ashley did the right thing and said she was sorry. So but in both cases, the girls made the right decision. Number six, Sam knows he shouldn't spread rumors about his classmates, but he likes that everyone listens to him when he talks. And so he just keeps doing it. Is this wise or not wise? This is not wise. Like we said before, this is kind of like gossiping. It's whenever you're talking about someone who's not around, trying to make yourself look better by making other people look worse. And this is not wise. This is not the kind of behavior people who follow God need to be doing. So this is not wise. Number seven, Lisa likes to play with Sarah, but she's been noticing that Sarah has been lying a lot lately. Lisa told Sarah that lying goes against what God teaches and people won't trust her if she keeps lying. But Sarah said she didn't care and it didn't bother her. Is Sarah acting wise or not wise? Of course, it's not wise. It's not wise to lie to people. And we want to make sure that we are truthful in everything we say. Number eight. One of Cody's classmates looked lonely on the playground, so Cody went and asked him if he wanted to play. Was this wise or not wise? It was wise. Cody did the right thing by asking his classmate to play. We don't want anyone to feel lonely or left out. So even if it's someone who maybe isn't your best friend or maybe someone who maybe you don't even get along with that great, always do the right thing and always reach out a hand for somebody else. Number nine, at recess, Jenna's classmate told her, don't talk to Sally. She's weird and she laughs funny. Let's just ignore her. Jenna was afraid to speak up for Sally, so she just went along with Jenna's advice and ignored her. Was that wise or not wise? Yeah, it wasn't wise. Is it ever good to ignore somebody or to be rude to somebody just because they're a little different than us? No, of course not. We want to treat everyone the way that we would want to be treated and the way that God sees them. So we want to make sure we are kind and respectful to everyone we meet. Number 10, and this is the last one. Ben and Jordan are good friends. And when a new boy moved into the neighborhood, Ben's dad suggested that they should go invite him over to play basketball. Ben and Jordan, they're a little shy and they prefer to play alone, but they took Ben's dad advice anyway and ended up having a great time. Was this wise or not wise? Of course, it was wise. And just like we talked before, it's always important that we do our part to make other people feel welcome. And sometimes we might feel a little uncomfortable, but God is honored whenever we extend a hand of kindness to somebody else. Well, great job today. I told you these scenarios would be easy and I trust that through the power of the Holy Spirit, you too would be able to make the wise choices in those scenarios. Well, kids, have a great rest of your Saturday. Request some beanie weenies for a meal today. Get out in the sunshine and don't forget that tomorrow, Miss Danica is going to be leading us in a fun draw along. So we'll see you right here tomorrow. Until next time. (music) 